So the first example is saying the strings of length at least two. That means at least the string of length should be two, and we can have any string whose length is greater than two. That means we can have a string of length three, we can have a string of length four, we can have a string of length five, and so on. So we can say we can have string of length two, and then we can have any length string. So this can be represented by this is string of length two a plus b concatenated with a plus b. String of length two is now, you know, uh, concatenated with a plus b star. A plus b, a plus b, concatenated with a plus b is concatenated with a plus b star. And this is representing string of length two, and we can have any length after that. So if you can open it, you can see we can have all the strings of length at least two. Next is. A raised to power n, b raised to power m, such that n is n comma m is greater than or equal to one, and here it is representing a raised to power n, b raised to power m, such that n comma m is greater than or equal to zero. What is the difference between these two examples? See, in the first example here, a raised to power n, b raised to power m, and where n comma m is greater than or equal to one, so at least the minimum length we can get is a b. We can have a b b. We can have a triple b, and so on. We can have any number of b's. We can have a, a b. We can have triple a b, and we can have any number of a's, and so on. The only thing which we cannot have is any combination of a's and b's. This language is actually representing all the strings should start with a, and end with b. But as soon as we get one b, then we should get a continuous run of b's. Continuous run of b's. That means, in the starting we can have any number of a's, and as soon as we get we get one b, we can have any number of b's. And a and b are not dependent on each other. And the minimum length should be one, or you can say uh, should be two. Number of a's should be at least one. Number of b's should be at least one. Therefore, the minimum length can be two. Okay, and this is representing strings of length um, where n comma m is greater than or equal to Zero. The only difference between this and this one is, in this case, a b is of length two, but here we can have a string which is of length zero. So we can have this epsilon. We can have single a. We can have a a. We can have a a a or any number of a's. We can have single b. We can have b b. We can have any number of b's and so on. Or we can have initially we can have any number of a's and then any number of b's and so on. Okay. Now here in this case, the only difference between these two is here n comma m can be greater than or equal to zero, and here n comma m should be greater than or equal to one. That it means in the above case, at least one a or one b should be there. Right? This this creates a huge difference between these two languages. So you can see here, you get so many strings which are extra, which are not present here. Okay. Now the regular expression for this is very simple. This this language actually can be represented by a star. B star and star does not make them equivalent to each other. Star means we can have any combination of A's or we can have any combination of B's. Any combination of B's, right? That means initially we get A and as soon as we get one B, then we'll always be getting B's. We cannot get B's. And this A star dot B star is not equivalent to A plus B whole star. That means what I'm saying is, if I'm writing A star B star, it is Not at all equivalent to a plus b whole star, and it is also not at all equivalent to a b whole star. You can say a star b star is not at all equivalent to a b whole star. When I'm saying a b whole star, that means it will be you know multiple of a b. So here, if I'm saying a b whole star, it means the strings can be epsilon, it can be a b, it can be a b a b, it can be a b a b a b, and so on. But here it is representing a different set of strings. It is representing epsilon, a, b, a, 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 b, 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 and so on. But here we cannot have a, 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 b, 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 and so on. So this, these two are not equal. Okay, keep this in mind. And here I am saying the length should be at least one. So this language can also be represented like this. It is a dot a star and b dot b star. Or the better way of representing is. Better way of representing is a plus concatenated with b plus, and a plus b plus does not make a and b as equivalent. 
they may be equal they may not be equal it doesn't it, it can happen right so this is representing a plus dot b plus this is representing a star dot b star and when i'm taking this one this is a raised to power a star b star c star right so because length is greater than or equal to 0 so it can be represented by a star concatenated with b star concatenated with c star so this is a regular expression which is representing the complete language all the possible strings of the language right so any regular expression which should which which we should give that should represent all the possible strings over any given language okay fine now if you take this example here the length should be at least one so either you can represent it like this a concatenated with a star b concatenated with b star c concatenated with c star or you can represent it like this a a star concatenated with a or b star concatenated with b or c star concatenated with c or you can take a plus dot b plus dot c plus or you can make any combinations of this like this we have a concatenated with a star b plus we have c star concatenated with c you can make it like this also it's a different several possible representations of a given language which is possible right we have uh, seen these examples before now the next one is we have a raised power n b raised power n now can you make a regular expression for this is it actually possible where n is greater than or equal to 0 you need to understand when I'm saying a raised power n b raised power n this language is not at all equivalent to this language it is not at all equivalent a big no a big no they are not equivalent why because here number of a's and number of b's may not be equal but here in this case number of a's and number of b's both are equal and these two are not representing the same language got it so they are not at all representing the same language fine so by the way for this language you can give a regular expression which you will know at a later point of time the, just let me tell you here that this language is not at all regular because here we have a you know, comparison between A's and B's number of A's should be equal to the number of B's right but in case of uh, finite automata we cannot draw a finite automata for this language right let me know if you can draw a finite automata because the biggest award in computer science is the Turing award Turing award is uh, on the base on, on the scientist which is Alan Turing who you can say the you know inventor of Turing machine but here a raised power n b raised power n is not at all regular we cannot make a finite automata if it is not regular how can you give a regular expression therefore you cannot give a regular expression for this language in the same way you cannot give a regular expression for this language a raised power n b raised power n is here a raised power n b raised power n even if you have a language which is a raised power n b raised power n c raised power n such that n is greater than or equal to 0 you can give a regular expression for this language because this language is not regular but if you take a regular language like this a raised power n b raised power n c raised power n such that n is less than or equal to 10 raised to power 10 raised to power 10 raised to power 10 now this language is regular and you can give a regular expression for this we will discuss this don't worry we will be discussing something called as pumping lemma in case of pumping lemma we will be seeing what are the properties of regular language or how can you say a regular language is regular or in rough sense right now i can say that if you can give a finite automata for any language that language is called regular if you cannot give a finite automata then that language is not regular for this language you cannot give a finite automata but for this language you can give a finite automata which will be containing number of states accordingly okay right so let us see few more examples of uh, you know uh, what, what are the few more examples of regular expression maybe we, i can take few more examples of the languages for which you cannot make a regular expression because they may not be regular right so we'll be seeing what are the other types of languages after we study uh, you know uh, the pushdown automata and this turing machine okay right